The last action of the funeral of Metropolitan Basil was an anointing with blessed oil and the subsequent covering of his face and his hands with the covers used to cover the gifts at the Divine Liturgy. This anointing is done for all priests. There are certain practical matters for placing these covers, but I believe we may benefit from some spiritual considerations as well. During the preparation rite at the beginning of the Eucharistic Divine Liturgy, after preparing the bread and wine, the priest covers the gifts while reciting a series of prayers based on excerpts from the Bible. These excerpts begin by speaking of God being clothed, then of his glory covering the heavens and the earth, and finally a prayer for such protection of humankind. The gifts being offered extend from the bread and wine that will become the very body and blood of Jesus Christ to the people who are offering them. Recall that the priest prays during the anaphora, Send down your Holy Spirit upon us and upon these gifts. How appropriate we vest first the altar, then also the gifts, and also the priest, deacon, and other ministers at the altar. The universally accepted obligations of a family to their children are to provide food, drink, and shelter. This is also true from the Christian family or community whose head is Jesus Christ. The Church is called to provide, along with the nourishing spiritual food, the body and blood of Jesus Christ, shelter, his shelter, from the spiritual elements that can and will harm us. In the wedding ceremony, the priest places his epitrachelion over the couple's hands, which they placed on the Holy Gospel symbolizing that their marriage is built on the foundation of the Holy Word of God and under the protection of God's Holy Church. Similarly, the bishop places his omophore over the head of the candidate when he ordains him to the diaconate or priesthood. We know that the shelter God offers is protective and empowering, but not smothering. He allows us to participate in our life. I often feel the power of that protection. We pray that each of us will realize that sheltering throughout earthly life and, as with Metropolitan Basil, beyond. We know God's protecting shelter is for all people. Everyone needs food, drink, shelter. We, the Church, Share in the opportunity to extend this to the whole world. How important is our participation in the saving act of Jesus Christ in the Divine Liturgy?